Hey friends, did you know that Azure Container Registry has an offline mode that enables you to operate it on-premises and disconnected for up to 90 days? This enables remote edge workloads to operate independently when disconnected. Toddy and Janine are here to show me how it works today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, I'm Scott Hansman and it's Azure Friday. I'm here with Toddy who's gonna to talk to me about containerized workloads at the edge with Azure Container Registry. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Scott? I'm very well. I'm learning all about Azure, and that's a good day. Yeah, it's always Friday. So ACR, um, you know, I have some containers now that are running in Azure, and um, they're working very well. But I don't have a lot of edge deployments. Maybe you can explain to me what the edge is and when I might need something like this. Uh, edge. So let's start from maybe a uh, factory scenario, right? So you have a factory where actually you have all the machines and uh, with the new IoT or Internet of Things that uh, uh, everybody talks about, you want those machines to be controlled from the cloud. But if, uh, let's say, the factory uh, loses connectivity to Internet, uh, it will be hard actually for those machines to work. So uh, you have workloads on the edge, so the fancy word edge, which are actually uh, running in the factory itself, and they can work independently without the connectivity to the cloud. So everything that is uh, on your premises and works on your premises, you can consider that it's the edge now. That's a really great point, because I think a lot of these large cloud solutions make really unreasonable assumptions about high bandwidth, 24 seven connected, and it's just not the case. Um, and there are still systems that run very well on batch jobs during windows of connectivity. Certainly if it was an oil rig or something that was even more occasionally connected or somewhere in, in, in a rural part of the middle part of a continent, these are all great opportunities for the edge to shine. And it sounds like you have solutions to make those things possible. Yes, we have a solution and uh, uh, we call it uh, connected registry. So it works in tandem with our cloud ACR. However, you can disconnect it for up to 90 days and it can operate independently during that period. Wow, that sounds really cool. I'm imagining one day I'll take a sailboat and go around the world, but I'll still bring my Azure Connected Container Registry with me. Uh, that, is a, that is exactly the scenario that we want to talk about today. So uh, we have two main scenarios where we target uh, the connected registry to be helpful for our customers. So uh, one is the factory scenario where uh, actually there is a well-known architecture for the networking and the separation of the IT networks and the OT networks. So IT networks is what we all know, the information technology. The OT is the part where uh, actually uh, we we talk a little uh, up till now but we'll hear more that's the operational technology and that's actually the software that drives those machines and uh, uh, when factories uh, create their networks uh, they separate the IT network from the OT network and the OT network can only communicate with the IT network so the OT network doesn't have any access to the internet however with the IoT Edge scenarios, we would like to have the ability to deploy containers in the OT network. So if you have IoT Edge device in the OT network, you need to have this uh, registry somewhere in the IT network that containers can be deployed. Uh, we call that uh, uh, nested IoT scenarios or IoT Edge scenarios. Or uh, the other scenario where we would like to actually uh, talk is what you mentioned with the boat. So I am really excited about the boat scenario because uh, we had a lot of private preview customers that we started with and they were in the uh, container shipping scenarios. So you have your container ship and you have all the systems on the container ship uh, working while the container ship is in the middle of the sea. And we would like to not have any connectivity to the cloud because either it's a spotty connectivity or it's too expensive to go over the satellite connection. I like that we're putting containers on a container ship. The, the, the analogy is not missed on me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. So we, we have very exciting demo. I have a small slide. I will explain what we'll demo today. So uh, here is the scenario. So we have the cloud registry our ACR that uh, everybody knows, uh, we will deploy a connected registry on the so-called parent device. 
So this is uh, simulated right now as a virtual machine that uh, uh, Janine will show us. And we'll uh, use this parent device to connect another child device underneath, which communicates only with the parent device and can pull containers, like the software containers, not the ship ones, from the parent device. And we have Janine, she will be the client for both of those, and she will demonstrate that we can pull from each one of those connected registry without the need to go to the internet. You can think of this as, um, this is your IT network, right? And this is your OT network. And what we will do after we deploy it, this configuration, we'll cut the connectivity here, and we'll see that if you push an image to the cloud registry, after we establish the connectivity, this image will be automatically synchronized to the both the parent and the child registry and can be pulled. This is the shipping scenario. So when you are in port, you can get this uh, uh, setup configured. You can have all the images that you need, like navigation images for this trip. You can send the ship sailing, and when it actually gets to port again, they can update the map and the navigation. So should we hand it over to Janine, and she will go over the demo. Let's do it. Hi, Scott. How are you? Hi, I'm good. So you're a developer who worked on this project. Yes, I'm a developer on the Azure Container Registry team. Um, and yes, I work with Toddy and we've been working on Connected Registry for um, over the past year. So we're really excited to give this demo today and show what kind of functionality we have. Very cool. And it's really interesting, kind of ironic that we've all been working ourselves on the edge because we've been working remotely from home. <laughs> so we're also occasionally connected as you've been yep. working on this project. But it's cool that you get to ship something during this year off or this year away. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. Um, I'm gonna actually go ahead and share my screen okay. and we can get the demo started. Let's do it. All right. Um, thanks, Toddy, also for that introduction. Having the um, having that diagram will be really helpful as we can go into this demo. So first, um, I'm just gonna explain what the demo is going to do. So I'm demoing the nested connected registry deployment using IoT Edge, as Toddy mentioned. Um, we're going to deploy a connected registry on each layer of our IoT Edge hierarchy. And as the diagram showed, the top layer device will communicate directly with the cloud, and the lower layer device will communicate with its parent device. And the parent device will act as a gateway for the communication between um, our connected registry on the lower layer and with the uh, cloud. Each connected registry is going to be deployed as a module on our IoT Edge VMs. And so first, let's take a closer look at our resources that we provisioned prior to this demo. So here is just my first Azure Linux VM, as Toddy mentioned. Uh, it's called Parent Device. Here's our DNS. We have another device here called, uh, another VM called Child Device. Here's its DNS. And lastly, for at least the virtual machine resources, I have a client device here. So this is what I'm going to use to actually uh, pull images from my uh, different connected registries across those layers. Um, so first, let's just talk about our uh, IoT deployment setup. So I have an IoT hub here. This is in the cloud. It's called ACR on-prem demo. And you can see I've already connected those two Azure Linux VMs as IoT Edge devices. So they're uh, listed here under the IoT Edge blade. They each have their own device ID. Um, and I've basically um, configured on the machine uh, that I've configured the machine that it could so that it can uh, communicate with this hub and it's registered as an IoT Edge device. And you deploy modules onto an IoT Edge uh, device, and that's what's going to be running our connected registry. So, first, in order to actually have a connected registry, uh, a prerequisite is having your Azure Container Registry in uh, the cloud. So, first, we're going to stop there. We're going to create our connected registries here. Um, we have an ACR called JE Burke on prem. Let's take a look at the repositories I've already uh, imported in here uh, to just prepare for this demo. We have uh, a repo here called ACR Connected Registry. This is an image that we will use to run our on prem connected registry. This is our uh, runtime image used to deploy the connected registry. Um, we have some IoT Edge 
system images here. And then we have a hello world repository that's going to act as our application image that we're going to be pulling on each of these connected registries in the uh, on-prem scenario. So we're going to create a connected registry now. Um, in order to do that, we have this blade on the portal. You're going to go ahead and click create. Um, and right here, there's a detail that says uh, parent. So in this case, the parent for this connected registry is going to be the ACR. This is the connected registry that's residing on the top layer uh, of our, our top IoT Edge device. The mode here is read write. This indicates uh, what kind of operations this registry supports. So if you're in your on-prem scenario and you know that you're going to be building new uh, images or uh, artifacts on your on-prem device and you want to uh, distribute those back up to the ACR, you can use read write mode and that will actually enable you to push on-prem and we'll be able to sync those new um, artifacts up to the cloud. Okay, now, so if I understand correctly, then you're basically making a decision here about authoritative sources, whether this is going to be purely a flowing information from parent to child, where the parent is the authoritative source mm -hmm. and everything downstream is a read only, or there's someone on the boat building containers and committing to the local thing, and then you're going to have to reconcile conflicts at some point when they connect to each other? Yeah, so we'll, um, there'll be a, syncing of, a synchroniz synchronization of images between the ACR and on-prem. And so um, if someone does push a, a new image on-prem, we'll be syncing that one up to the ACR. Mm -hmm. um, and we also get to make a decision here on which repositories we want to sync. We can scope um, down specific repos in our ACR. Maybe we only want to synchronize a select few. Today, I'm going to pull down um, a all of the repos that I have imported to the on-prem instance. So I'm just setting up configuration here um, in the cloud, and then this will be um, a resource that we uh, will deploy on-premise. So I'll um, also, we I'll, I'll create this here, but first I just wanna show the schedule. Um, this is a cron expression that can dictate how often you wanna sync with the cloud. We were talking about that shipping scenario, and maybe you might only be online um, every 30 days and you know that, you know that you're about to leave port, you're about to go um, travel and you know that you'll be offline for 30 days. So you could actually schedule your synchronization that way. Um, but right now I've configured this so that it's syncing continuously. Uh, so around every minute it'll, it'll pull new content from the ACR and synchronize configuration. And so now I've created the connected registry resource. I'm going into the resource and adding a client token. What a client token is used for is to authenticate with the on-prem instance. So this is what you're using for your, uh, to authenticate to the registry for your Docker uh, commands, for instance, like Docker login, your Docker pull, or Docker push. This token also has, um, you can, it has granular permissions assigned. Um, so I can maybe, if I have multiple clients that I know are gonna be accessing this connected registry, um, I can control the access that those users will have by through those client tokens there. Now, here's our parent demo connected registry resource that we've just created. The status is offline and the activation status is inactive. That's because we haven't deployed this yet. So in order to deploy the connected registry, we first need to get a connection string that will um, establish that, uh, that we'll use to deploy the connected registry on the IoT Edge device. So I'm going to generate a password here um, for my connected registry that it will use to communicate with the ACR. And I'll have this connection string here. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. And now we're going to move on to the next stage of the demo, which is how do we deploy a module on an IoT Edge device? So here I have a deployment manifest. Um, this is a could, JSON file. Oh. Could I impose upon you to just press Control Plus and make those fonts just a smidge larger for me? Oh, sure, here. Let me... You can just uh, control plus or just do it there. There you go. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, let me, it should have taken. Yep. It does it for the whole okay. thing. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. So here is our deployment manifest for our top layer device. So this is what's going to be used to deploy modules on there. Um, so right now I created the connected registry. I have an environment variable here that tells me where I paste the connection string. And this connection string, um, again, has credentials that are used to for the connected registry to synchronize with the ACR. I'm also going to copy uh, this password for another location in this file, which is 
where the IoT Edge uh, is the credentials that the IoT Edge device uses to pull um, the uh, system images and our module images from a, a registry. So I've dictated here that I want all of my images for this IoT Edge device to be pulled from my ACR. And I'm using my uh, connected registry token to do that operation. So if we actually look at um, the module layout, I have my connected registry configuration here. I'm saying this is my uh, connected registry runtime image that I want to use. I put the connection string. Um, and then if we look at where all the other images in this manifest are being pulled from, again, they're all being pulled from our ACR. Um, one more thing to also mention is that we also have the API proxy module deployed um, on this uh, top layer device. API proxy will stand up an Nginx service that's running at this port. And I will do my um, Docker operations pointing to this port and Nginx will route the request to my connected registry module over HTTPS. Um, so this is my manifest. I just needed to paste in that connection string and the password. And now what I'm going to do is use the Azure CLI to apply this manifest in the cloud to my IoT hub. So there's my hub name that we saw. I want to apply this manifest to this parent device that I had already uh, registered there. Pardon so me. Just, yeah. Could you use control and your mouse scroll and just control scroll and make that font bigger for me as well? Thank you so much. Okay, so you're saying IoT Edge set modules. So IoT Edge set modules is going to apply that configuration to this device ID um, with this uh, that resides in this uh, IoT hub in the cloud. So if I just press enter here, um, it's going to apply that configuration. And what the IoT Hub will do during this time is when it receives this configuration update, it's going to notify the connected device that I've just received a configuration update. Please deploy this module, for instance. So I'm on the I, uh, if I'm here on the IoT Hub and I click into parent device, I have a list of all the modules that are deployed there. So we see the connected registry here. This is, I know it might be worrying, but this just um, means that the device just hasn't communicated the status back to the cloud. Um, so it will just take around a few, um, like a minute to have the actual uh, module report back to the hub that it's healthy and running. Uh, but we can actually confirm this for ourselves by going onto the physical machine. So I have um, an SSH uh, session established for all of those machines that I pointed out um, in the beginning. And what we do here is we're going to run this um, IoT command to just view what modules are running. And so I, here, I apologize. Now I'm now I've officially now I'm font person, so that's my bad. <laughs> no, um, I let me go in. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes I watch Azure Friday on my phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so no thank problem, you for no your, thank you for your patience. Let me just confirm okay. that it's applied. Okay, cool. It's on cool. the so your S your SSH now into the child device. And we can tell in that lower left hand corner in the green where it says yes. parent device or on your prompt. Yes, exactly. So this is the top layer device that we just deploy those um that those modules to. Um, and we can see that the connected registry module is in fact deployed. Once you deploy the connected registry, it's going to talk to the ACR and fetch all of those repositories that we configured it to synchronize when we created it in the portal. Um, and also a really cool feature of IoT Edge is that I can see these module logs not only on premise, but also in the cloud. Um, so again, the connected registry recorded back, it's running. Uh, and I can actually see, uh, as I mentioned, those module logs here, which is really powerful if you don't, uh, people in the cloud will be able to troubleshoot, for instance, issues that might be happening on-prem, but you have visibility both uh, on your, uh, let's say your shipping vessel and also someone that has access to the cloud. Um, so these, these IoT modules, right? The IoT, the Azure IoT Edge, it lets you manage this business logic on the edge where the edge is some device that you have. So, for example, if I have here, I'll just call this my edge. I've got a stack of Raspberry Pi, so I got a mm -hmm. Raspberry Pi Kubernetes cluster. Yes. This is sitting on my uh, my boat now, my ship, right? Mm -hmm. And that module, that IoT Edge module, is business logic that running on on my edge. Is it a container, or is it just like what what is the form of that module that you've deployed out there? 
It's a container. So um, it, we are pulling the container image from our ACR here. We kind of we uh, mentioned which image we want to use to run that business logic. So um, for the connected registry, we pulled that connected registry image from our ACR. Ah. And if we actually look at the config that um, is being used, we see all of these. Uh, these are containers that are running, and they're using those uh, those images that we sync from our registry. And if we do a pseudo Docker images here. We can see that all of the uh, we, we pulled all of those images again from our from our ACR. So you're able to kind of uh, synchronize all of that content from that cloud registry to your connected registry. And so here I can actually demo um, a an operation against our uh, connected registry module to pull that hello world image. As I mentioned, um, this is the parent device that we're connected to now. I want to pull the device, pull the uh, image from a client. So this client um, has access to that uh, parent device. And what I'm going to do is run the Docker operations that we're all familiar with, but the endpoint just looks a little different. The endpoint is going to be our parent device, FQDN. Again, I'm running this on port 8000. That's where Nginx is deployed and listening for this request to route to the connected registry module. So I can run sudo docker login, and I can pull my hello world image. Great. So now I've actually pulled a, uh, a application image from my connected registry that's deployed on the edge. And so we see that uh, FQDN is the registry endpoint for our parent connected registry. So now we have the, the top layer established. We're going to deploy a connected registry onto the nested layer, meaning the child device. Again, I, I configured my IoT Edge devices prior to this demo. And the child device on IoT Edge um, is configured to communicate through the, the uh, Linux VM called parent device. So I've configured that communication here. Um, and what we're going to do is create another connected registry that will fetch its images from this parent demo connected registry that we just created. So, and again, if I go on the portal, I see that the connected registry is online. It's actively communicating with the ACR at this point. Um, so if I push any images to the registry um, in the cloud, it'll sync down and vice versa. If I push an image to the registry on-prem, it'll be synchronized upstream. Now I'm going to name this connected registry child demo. Again, I'm scheduling that synchronization to be continuous, and I'm going to be pulling all of the repos that I did from the uh, top layer connected registry module. Okay, and then finally our hello world repo. I'm going to uh, and we can notice that this connected registry is in read-only mode, meaning that it's only synchronizing content. Um, it's only it's in it's only in read-only mode, so it can only fetch images. It can't you can't push to this registry and have those images synchronized um, to the ACR. For and then also we're going to add a separate client token here that I'm going to use on my client machine to actually authenticate to this on-prem instance. If I do child demo pull. While you've been doing this, I've noticed a couple of things during the demo where like there's a, a password in plain text or a warning from the CLI. Mm -hmm. um, of course, that's demo purposes. I'm sure that you could lock this down in various ways, certificates or they're, they're, this is a secure communication technique to talk to mm -hmm. the IoT Edge. Yes, correct. Uh, for Okay, so now we have our, uh, our child demo connected registry. Um, set up. The parent is again the uh, parent demo connected registry, and we're going to deploy this child demo connected registry onto the lower layer uh, IoT Edge device. That device only communicates again with its parent. So we're going to get that connection string again. Um, I'm selecting a password that I want to generate to actually have this connected registry communicate with the uh, parent that's running as the module already. And we're going to just click show password here. I'm going to grab this connected registry um, connection string. And we have a separate deployment manifest for the lower layer. Now, this one um, has some differences that you might notice from the top layer in that um, we have extract, we've, we have a new kind of uh, registry endpoint. 
instead of doing that, instead of having the ACR endpoint like we did on our top layer device, because it was synchronizing those images from, it was pulling images from, from the ACR, the IoT Edge um, system images, the uh, system modules, this lower layer has this environment variable here that will dynamically resolve to the parent device. So I can just say, um, pull this image from upstream on port 8000, and this will dynamically route to my parent device, uh, my, my connected registry that is running on the uh, top level IoT edge. So that, that upstream with the dollar sign looks like an environment variable, but is it is it a magical DNS entry or is it being dynamically replaced with a value uh, at runtime? It's being dynamically replaced with the value at runtime. Um, this is support that the IoT Edge team has only for nested IoT Edge devices. So the fact that I established my um, my Linux VM, uh, I've established my Linux VM on the hub as a child to parent device, IoT, Ub, IoT Edge can perform this magic for us. So this is just this is a feature of having that hierarchy deployment of your Edge devices. I see. And then. And then one more thing is that um, we're going to add, this is actually an environment variable um, that will resolve dynamically to our host, uh, to our uh, parent host FKDN or IP um, on the, uh, that corresponds to our parent module. So this is an environment variable that will be used when we're starting up the connected registry module. This basically tells this deployed instance, who am I communicating with? Where am I communicating to, to fetch my images? Okay. Have we made a hierarchy of two? or a hierarchy of three now? Because you remember before I held up my my stack of Raspberry Pis here mm -hmm. and I said, here's a bunch. And now I've got another Raspberry Pi that's all alone. Mm -hmm. Is this stack the parent and then the other one's like another potential downstream IoT device or is the parent the cloud? The parent, um, so in this hierarchy, we have, um, just one second, I'm gonna re replace the password that we copied before I forget. Um, so in this deployment, we have, um, two levels of connected registries. The parent, uh, the uh, for the top layer, it's just communicating with the ACR. In right. your scenario that you had, you had a stack of those Pi devices. Um, you would, parent. if after this is uh, the, this one is deployed, you can think of only the maybe the top two Pi devices in that oh. stack have the module deployed. You can keep deploying um, ah. nested layers. So as your network topology changes, um, you can continue uh, deploying nested connected registries. We support a level of uh, of four at the moment as a max just for our public preview, mm -hmm. uh, but you're able to deploy more than two. We're demoing two here um, just with the, uh, for, for the demo, but yes, in this scenario, just your two top pies would be the ones that are each running their own um, modules for this uh, the scenario. Each of gotcha. them had a, has their own connected registry. And the bottom the bottom right. pie is communicating with the one. And and even and again, you said that just for for the preview. But we're talking about specifically layers. You could have an n number of devices that are all talking to that layer. So when we're out on the on the ocean. Yes all the devices on the boat can go and talk to the registry, an unlimited number, really. Exactly, yes, correct. Um, your client connections, you can have as many, uh, you can have all of these clients communicating with this particular connected registry that's deployed on the layer, on uh, maybe your, your second your, your second Pi device. Got it. Great, okay, so we have this deployment uh, manifest. We're going to do the same process with the CLI, which is going to deploy the modules to our hub, and we're gonna specify child device this time. So I have IoT Edge set modules. I'm saying the device ID I want these to apply to, and I'm providing the hub name. So we're going to apply these. And what's happening during this process is that the hub is receiving notification for a configuration update. The parent device will then notify the child that it needs to fetch this new module configuration, and it will go ahead and start running the connected registry. So we'll have that same uh, sort of error. We'll have that same uh, uh, connected registry module added. Again, don't be scared. It's just, it needs a, a minute to uh, have a report back from the device that this uh, module is running. But we'll do the same thing we did for the parent. We can go on to our, uh, the SSH here, you can see on the bottom, an SSH to child device. And I can run sudo IoT edge list. And I see that my connected registry module is now running. Again, the uh, the doc the images here that these modules are running as containers, and the config here shows the image that the container is run with. 
these images were pulled from our top layer device. Since again, this device is only communicating with its parent, so the connected registry is pulling from the connected registry module that was deployed in the layer above. So that's what you see here in this uh, container config. So if I do pseudo Docker images, I see all of these uh, endpoints correspond to that of my uh, module that will be deployed in the beginning. Um, now, again, we have the same sort of uh, benefit here where we can receive the module logs in the cloud. And during this, uh, during this time, the when the connected registry is starting up, oh, I think the logs just need a few seconds. During this time, when the um, connected registry is starting up, the uh, it will be fetching images from the uh, parent uh, connected registry that's deployed. Let me go ahead and just sign on real quick with my phone. No worries. <laughs> that multi-factor auth lifestyle is always a challenge. Yeah. Okay. While, so, you're, while you're doing that, um, sure. I noticed that the hello world image was two years old. Certainly someone should not freak out about that. It's just because that's how old the hello world image is and exactly. everybody uses it. Exactly. Has nothing to do with freshness on our connected registry. No, no. Yes. This is um, talking about when that image was pushed to, uh, I pulled this one from that image from MCR. So that's talking about the, the age of the image that from the source. Um, but in your case or in a customer case, they're pulling um, images that they have built um, for their own application scenarios, for instance, that would be fresher. Um, but while we're just waiting for this connected registry, while these logs to show up, here they are. Let's again, let's just demo that we're going to be able to pull an image from the child device. So I'm going to run Docker login again from my client device. So I have this client device here that I was used that I used to log into the parent device. Now I'm logging into the connected registry that was deployed on this edge. So login succeeded, and I can again pull the hello world image from that lower layer now. So we have that scenario there. So that's the demo of having these connected registries deployed. Um, and the final part of this demo is to simulate that offline connection. At the beginning, we talked about how a great power for the connected registry feature is that it's able to function in a semi-connected um, world. We're not always online. For instance, in that shipping scenario, when your ship leaves port, it doesn't have connection and it can really only synchronize images when it has that connection established and it might make it back to, back, back to port. So we can demo this sort of uh, offline mode by running uh, by by setting up an NSG rule on the parent device. Since we're using an Azure VM, how I'm going to simulate disconnection is just blocking outbound communication. So I'm just going to do um, as, as a source. I'll say for any port on my parent device, I'm going to just block internet connection. I'll give 443 here just because that's where our cloud device is running. The priority is 100, so it's bumped to the top of our uh, priority list for NSG rules. And this is just kind of going to simulate me uh, cutting off connection from that parent connected registry to the ACR, so it won't be able to synchronize images anymore. Okay, so you're forcing airplane mode here. You're pretending <laughs> that we're offline, and you're using a firewall to do it. Yes, I'm exactly. So this is how we're going to be just simulating that offline scenario. And what we'll see during this time is that we're still able to pull from the uh, child, from these connected registries. Again, if I was pulling um, from child device, I can still pull these images. Um, but I'm also just going to demo the uh, behavior where when you're offline and maybe your uh, team that's um, Landside is pushing additional images to the ACR, um, you're not going to have those images synchronized while you're offline. So I'm going to, but when the connection's established again, you'll be able to receive those images on your on-prem devices. But when so, are those, when is that synchronization happening? Is this polling? Is it watching for connection notifications and doing it in an interrupt-based technique? Yeah, so how the connected registry is actually operating is that when I've scheduled that synchronization to be on a minute basis, um, the device itself will try to make a connection with the cloud every minute. It will try to have some sort of communication established. And when it does, it's gonna be able to fetch updates from the ACR. 
while it's offline, those connections um, will be blocked in our case because we have this NSG rule established and the, just the connected registry will just get a response back or will just be un unable to make that connection. And it will keep trying until the connection is established again. That's why there's a recommendation to um, for if you know that you're going to be offline for an extended period of time, you can update your synchronization schedule. So the connected registry doesn't even try to talk to the parent until maybe every Monday of the week, for instance, it'll try to connect. But um, so right now what's gonna happen is when I, so I've pushed this image to the ACR and um, the ACR will be sending a message to the uh, parent device on the top layer saying, hey, we just have a new um, image push, like please synchronize this downstream now. Um, but since the connected registry can't make that uh, communication to receive the message, we're not going to be able to have that image synchronized until the internet connection is established again. Mm -hmm. So here's the cloud tag here that I just pushed. Just FYI. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Please ask so me. the intent then would be when I get to port, nobody has to push any buttons. No one has to do anything. Whenever they plug in, whatever they plug in or the Wi-Fi gets connected or whatever they're using, 5G, something, something. Mm -hmm we're going to just automatically get these things. This is going to be no touch. Everyone exactly. downstream gets their images as they need. Exactly. Yes. So um, actually before, yes, that's the exact intent. So that the connected registry itself will be able to um, fetch this images on its own. As you mentioned before, there is no sort of action needed um, by you as a, as a user to actually to synchronize those images downstream. Um, and I can show here that if I tried to pull this cloud tag that I just pushed, I'm going to get a 404, see manifest unknown, because the connected registry never received that image right. uh, because it's offline. Now I'm going to remove that NSG role. Let's simulate that we are back to port. Uh, the connected registry now is fetching all those messages that it would, that it didn't receive because it was offline. So this could be um, configuration for the connected registry. This could be uh, registry content that was pushed to the cloud ACR. Mm -hmm. um, and then it will work hard to just synchronize again and um, get your connected registry that's deployed into mm -hmm. a consistent state with the ACR. And just for just for folks who may not be familiar, NSG is Network Security Group, right? Correct. Software based. Yes. So you're using a software based networking firewall rule to simulate an offline scenario. Exactly. Yes. If I was using a um, a Raspberry Pi, I could just pull off the Ethernet and just disconnect um, that way. But for this demo, we're doing a sort of uh, we're using that NSG to simulate the disconnection. You, you pulled the cable with software. Yes. <laughs> so okay. um, now we're back on the client device. And what I would expect is that when I go here to pull the cloud tag, the connected registry would have synchronized that image while um, I was, uh, when I just made connection back again with port, with the, with the port. Mm -hmm. So and there it is, downloading newer image. Wow. So I was able to find, um, Yep, so I was able to kind of synchronize that image and it kind of has a, uh, I was able to get the images that were maybe built on the cloud while it's offline and our team can now fetch fresh application images to maybe deploy as new modules on this IoT Edge device. And so and so it goes on. Um, and that is the, uh, that's the end of our demo here, just the images that we pulled. Um, and again, they're pulled from our uh, nested devices uh, from our child device and from our parent device. And uh, that's the end of my demo for the nested connected registry. That may have been the most sophisticated and complicated demo done without a net on Azure Friday Live. So kudos to you for pulling that off. Thank There's you. a lot of stuff going on there. But the, the essence is that when you get this set up on your IoT Edge devices, this is really going to make a lot of problems go away for people. It may have seemed like a lot of information, but now our devices are going to stay up to date without a lot of uh, trouble. That's a really cool feature. Exactly. Thank you. All right. We'll bring Toddy back to wrap us up. You're muted, sir. Thank you, Janine, for the demo. So, Scott, what do you think? Exciting stuff? Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty amazing. I mean, I re think it's a real acknowledgement that it is not a broadband 24-7 connected world. And uh, there are lots of opportunities here to have the sophistication of the cloud, the DevOps vibe of the cloud, but in an occasionally connected scenario on the edge. So it's pretty powerful stuff. 
yeah, we are uh, very excited about it, and uh, we actually we are uh, working very closely with a couple of customers, especially in the in the shipping uh, industry. Uh, I just want to wrap it up with uh, kind of next steps. Uh, first of all, we are releasing our public preview of connected registry at uh, Ignite, so that happened uh, this week, and uh, uh, I would like to share the documentation that we have available for everybody who wants to uh, test it out. So you can play with it either trying something like Janine did with virtual machines in Azure, or you can do something like me and Scott, like using Raspberry Pi. So I really like playing with those. Uh, it's very exciting and it works uh, very nicely. Any feedback is appreciated. And the last thing I want to say is that during our public preview, this will be free. So go ahead and just try it out. Very cool. Free is a good price for a preview. I will go check yeah. that out right away. Thank you both for your time and your effort. Have a nice day, Scott. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. All right. That's been another episode of Azure Friday. We'll see you again next week. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Azure Friday. Now I need you to like it, comment on it, tell your friends, retweet it. Watch more Azure Friday.